We're here at Cooper Hewitt doing a, an open studio of MakerBot assembly. A MakerBot is a 3D printer. So you create a design and print your model and it rises up off of the platform. The museum has purchased a Thingomatic. We're really thrilled that they have one and they're gonna use it in their teen design classes. We're gonna work with some of the teens that are gonna use it. Usually when I tell someone that uh, I work with a company that makes 3D printers, they think that we make a printer that prints an optical illusion. It prints like a hologram. What a 3D printer actually is, is printing an object that you can hold in your hand. This technology has been around for 10, 15 years, but the printers are extraordinarily expensive. Uh, institutions are purchasing them. Big design firms are purchasing them. We wanted like individuals to have them on their design desk. These kids are on the blogs, on the internet, checking these things out. They're interested and curious. It's a fairly complicated kit, but the instructions are fairly clear. And so we have amazing users doing incredible design work and printing who are 12. Kids leave these kind of projects fired up to make robotics and do all kinds of things that they didn't think that they could do. Because the users put it together, they learn everything about how it works. They've had their hands in the machine, so they're ready to try something on their own. They're ready to design machines. It's not like a closed box. You recognize what you're doing. You recognize what the parts mean. It's just democratizing the design process. That's a powerful thing.